we are here at Eastern Oklahoma State College and we are looking at another aquaponics system that Symbiotic Aquaponics has installed. And joining me is Caven Smallwood. And Caven, this is actually your second model after the version you installed at Kiowa. Yeah, Kiowa provided us the opportunity to do our proof of concept. Uh, we were fortunate enough that Eastern Oklahoma State College took notice of what was happening at Kiowa and commissioned us to come install the system that you see here. And so what's kind of different about this system versus what we saw at Kiowa? The system here is used for a lot of educational purposes. It also gave us a great partner in Eastern Oklahoma State College that we were able to flesh out some aquaponic curriculum and take this application that's used here and shoot it over to the classroom. Uh, this came about through a partnership with our business and Eastern Oklahoma State College's horticulture department. Okay. So we provided the technology, but they helped fill in with the curriculum and the teaching of the subject matter. Okay, excellent. So uh, what did you change here and, and is this the final setup? No, we've made a couple of changes from this system and Kiowa, but really we've had another evolution and I'll show you a little bit about that here in a bit. But this system, for example, uh, rather than using uh, cow feed troughs, which were a little bit shorter and stacked on cinder blocks, uh -huh. we went ahead and used horse feed troughs, which raised the beds naturally up to waist level. We also integrated a pump and filter system to this system, which helped us control our biological surface area and also helped us have a spot to raise beneficial bacteria, which is really key to the aquaponic process. Okay, all right. And so now you have a, a third version of this that we're gonna go look at here in a minute, but what were some of the things that you started seeing that you needed to tweak on this? Well, a couple of things, just like with any construction project, you learn from doing. Right. Uh, one thing that we did differently is these beds were 10 foot long by two in, about two foot wide. They provided 20 square foot of growth space, but uh, it was in a different shape than what we thought could best serve aquaponic purposes. Okay. Uh, so rather than having a rectangle, our grow beds now are more of a square. They're actually 20 square foot, but four by five feet. Also the bell siphon, we had placed down at the end of the grow bed. Mm -hmm. This is what naturally drains the beds and sends the water back to the fish tank. We noticed through some studies and through some observations that plants towards the end of the system weren't growing at as quick of rate as plants that were in the front of the beds. We hypothesized that nutrients were getting stripped as the water was going down from the beds. So rather than have the siphons at the end, our beds have been prefabricated to have the siphons in the middle. This will allow water to fill evenly throughout the bed while it drains. Okay, and you're actually just directly seeding a lot of your different crops in here. Yeah, if you look right here, you'll actually see a great example. These are tomato plants that the school uses uh, for fundraisers. What they do is they take a small area of the system, sow the seed directly into the system, and then cover it up. Uh, we found that germination rates and propagation rates in this aquaponic system are far superior to that of soil. The school then takes the plants out of the system and then puts them over in pots or six packs that can then be sold back into the community as a fundraiser for the school, but also to help address local food security issues and try to introduce a sustainable form of agriculture back into the community. Okay, all right, well, let's go take a look at that new system you've got. All right, excellent. Wow, Kevin, it looks like you've really increased your production here. Yeah, we were provided a great opportunity here in a partnership with the school. What we've got set up here are a couple of different things. We're actually still waiting on our large scale fish tanks that will be positioned in this general location. And that will go to feed all of those? Right, the tanks that will be here will be about 1,250 gallons each and they'll provide enough water that will be able to fill each one of these grow beds that you see here. Okay. So this operation is a very large scale operation compared to what we had next door. Right, and so, I mean, this is a lot of investment here. How did this come to be? There's a particular grant through the USDA that's called a Rural Economic Development Grant. The focus of that grant is to have educational institutions pair with new and emerging businesses. In this situation, Eastern filled the role of the educational institution and Symbiotic Aquaponic played the role of the emerging business. What we had to do was come and work together to figure out a way that we could use this technology to benefit the local economy. So through some brainstorming with the Academic Advancement Office and our business, we determined that doing an aquaponic incubator would be a great way to go. We're hoping to debut the project to the first part of next year, which would be January of 2017. We're still working on the final 
environmental details, but the way it would essentially work is a farmer could come in and rent grow space from us for a 90 day period. During that time, they'll be receiving in classroom instruction as well as practical application through hands-on experiences. Okay, and you said you would even help with getting their business off the ground too. That's a part of it. It's a, a fully functional, full service class. Okay, so this is a large scale production space here and this is your filter that's being built but this is a model of this new system. Exactly. So the differences in these systems and what you saw over there, we highlighted a little bit earlier. But with our new design, it all started with the grow bed that my brother Shelby designed. Mm -hmm. We like to say we're changing agriculture 20 square foot at a time. Okay, so we've got about 20 square feet of planting area here, 40 if you have two. How many fish can we have in this tank here? Well, this fish tank here is a 200 gallon tank. What uh, the watchers need to understand is that it's not just the water that's in the fish tank mm -hmm. that determines how many fish you can raise, it's the overall water in the system. Okay. So this tank is also paired with a 130 gallon sump tank, mm -hmm. which gives individuals closer to 330, 350 gallons of water. What we do is we look at stocking densities. So the pounds of fish per gallons of water. In this system, uh, you would be hard pressed to raise less than 30 to 50 pounds of edible protein with the system on top of the vegetables. But an experienced aquaculturalist can get up to 200 pounds per harvest. Wow, that's, that's a lot of food that can come out of this system right here. It is. So where can people go to get more information about this program? For more educational opportunities, we direct people to Eastern's website. That's www.eosc.edu backslash aquaponics. If you want more information about the system itself, you can always reach out to us on our website or at our email info at symbioticaquaponic.com. Excellent. Well, thank you for sharing this information with us. Hey, thank you all for having us. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.